Have you ever wondered when it is appropriate to make a move on your crush? Do you feel like you can't tell whether or not she's giving you any signs? Human behavior is sometimes confusing, but there are some general signs that people exhibit when they are interested in somebody and they want that other person to make a move. Here are five signs your crush is waiting for you to make a move. Now let's begin. Number one, eye contact and smiling. When someone makes eye contact and smiles at you, it means that they are interested in you. The eye contact could be brief, long, or you could feel them staring when you're not looking. This mostly applies to women, according to studies. Social psychology expert Madeline A. Fugere, PhD, says when women are attracted to someone, we tend to make eye contact and smile. Smiling and eye contact increase activity in the area of the brain associated with reward. The frequency of sustained eye contact varies across cultures, but eye contact and smiling can make you seem more attractive to others. If you notice that your crush is directing their smiles and eye contact consistently toward you, this might be a sign that it is safe to make a move and go talk to them. But what about men? According to Madeline, men may show different signs. When it comes to men, you may catch them looking at you for a long time, parting their lips spontaneously, flaring their nostrils and flashing their brows upwards, explains Regain, an individual and couples therapy site. Regain also states that in conversation, you may see men nervously graze their faces with their hands, straighten their clothes, and have their feet pointed toward you. They may also run their fingers through their hair. All of these are signs that a man likes you and that he may want you to make a move. Number two, mirroring. Mirroring is one of the most telling signs that someone is not only interested in you, but also wants you to make a move. Limbic synchrony, also known as mirroring, is when a person mimics or reflects certain body language like movements, voice patterns, and facial expressions of another person that they like or are interested in. From an evolutionary standpoint, it is a behavior developed as a form of survival, but it is also a sign of trust. An article in Imagine Health, a psychological support website, states that the whole point of mirroring is that it's a way to better understand others and connect with them. Being able to mirror someone is the same as being able to listen to someone. If someone mirrors you, it means they are listening to you on a deeper level. It likely means that this person may be interested in you in a more romantic way, which is a good indication to make a move. If you find this video relatable and helpful, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Now, moving on to the next point. Number three, notice and remember things about you. If you are interested in someone, but don't know if you should make a move, try to become aware of whether or not this other person notices and remembers small things about you that no one else seems to notice. Similar to mirroring, when people are attracted to someone, they often tend to notice or remember things about that other person that nobody else does. They do this to let the other person know that they're listening and they are paying attention to them. As the Gentleman Within article states, most people won't even notice that you adjust your glasses when you're nervous or that you always log into your social media every day at 7.20 p.m., but they somehow have noticed these small details and more. Or she remembers something that you like and you ask her about it, and she says you told her about it a whole year ago. These signs mean she's into you. Number four, tries to be close or touch you. Generally speaking, when we like or trust someone, we want to be close to them. Closeness can mean different things ranging from just being in the same vicinity to touching skin to skin. According to Very Well Mind, physical touch can create emotional intimacy by releasing oxytocin, also known as the feel-good hormone. This starts creating an emotional, mental, and chemical bond between the two people that can be taken further if both decide to. Proximity is also a way to slowly become more intimate with another person. Notice how the more you know and trust someone, the more you let them into your personal space. If you notice that the person you like tries to be close to you or is always finding excuses to touch you, it may be a sign that they like you and want you to make a move. Number five, asking. Another sign that your crush may be waiting for you to make a move is that they ask if you consider them dateable if you think they look good, or they ask you for advice on a number of things. People ask others for help or advice when they want to be around them or they know they can help with their problems. So if you notice that your crush tries to ask or talk to you often, it may be a sign that they like you and want you to make a move. Of course, the surest sign you can get is by asking them directly if they like you. Yes, it is scary. Yes, there's a possibility that there may be rejection. But if you want to know without a reasonable doubt, asking them directly is your best bet. Did you find this useful? 
Tell us about your experiences in the comments below. Don't forget to follow and subscribe to the channel for more interesting tidbits on psychology and behavior. Until next time. And remember, you matter.